Hey there, let me quickly show you how to create a playbook or logic app. Uh, once you're in Sentinel, on the left hand side, you should be able to see the uh, sub menu for automation. Uh, that will bring up the rule, the well, that would bring up the screen for automation rules slash playbooks. You can click on playbooks at the top, click on the create button, select add a new playbook, and that will take you to the screen that will allow you to create your playbook. Let's just give it a sec, it takes a bit to load. On this section, you would be required to select the subscription, and of course below that, the resource group in question. Below that, there's also the section for creating the name of the playbook, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that quickly. And of course below that, there's the selection for the region. Of course, take note about where this is, because this would of course impact whether or not this would actually work uh, in, the, in the workspace that you've designated this to. Click on review and create. And then it will just do its background checks to make sure that everything is in order, whether you've got permissions to do so or not. Click once again on create. You'll see in the top right, there's a section that will say initializing deployment. This is the notification bar. And there we go, done. Now we've got the button to go to resource. You could click on that and that'll take us automatically to our Logic app. The idea behind playbooks or Logic apps and automation rules is pretty much automation. Almost any process that you have within Azure Sentinel can be fully automated to perform various functions for you. Whether you want the reputation of an IP to be checked every time an alert is triggered, or if you want information to be tweeted on Twitter, or perhaps if you just wanted an incident closed and to send you a notification via email, all of those can be automated. In many cases of analysis, I usually allow Sentinel to perform various queries for me, saving me a lot of time. I've even had Sentinel build an entire report for me displaying customized information. It's all about innovation, working smarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a simple notifier via email when a particular incident is triggered. So usually, the simplest way that I like to start is to click on blank logic app. That gives me the freedom to select the uh, choices, you know, of course, to me to fully customize, that allows me to fully customize the logic app or playbook the way that I feel I should. So an important part to remember is that when it is a reactive playbook, you're going to probably be starting with one of two features. In this case, when an incident is triggered, so just wait for that to load. So here, when an Azure Sentinel incident creation rule is triggered, great, wonderful. So I've got this, so now I know that it's going to react to an automation rule that has been set. I'll go into the next step. I will just type in send an email. In this long, long list, we should be able to see send an email v2. This is uh, most popular amongst my peers. And I could simply just type in my email address. I'll type in the subject as you would a normal email. Whoops, I cannot spell. and a little message for myself. And that's it. So this is simple enough. When, an, when the incident triggers, send an email. I'll hit save. This saves the large gap. We're not done just yet. 
Let's go over to our automation rule, shall we? The nice part about the automation rules is you could generate them immediately or from incidents that you find that have been generated automatically. If you select the incident and you look down towards the bottom right, you click on the actions button and select create an automation rule. This of course would bring up a side panel and if we look at the automation rule in detail, we could see that it does specify certain conditions. In this case, is the trigger is when the incident is created and if the analytic rule contains certain amounts, I will just add in just to be absolutely certain, make sure that this is triggered on unfamiliar sign-in properties. It's not needed, but I'll do it anyway. And I'll set this to run a playbook. Simply just select the playbook from here, make sure that this is does not expire, and click on apply. And it is that simple. So when the incident is triggered, I will automatically be notified, and this will let me know that I need to investigate. But yeah, this is a very basic example of the playbook. There are other playbooks that can become very complicated. Um, but of course, that would of course, you know, if the more complicated they are, I would like to think of it as the more time that they save. So at a playbook that is a bit more complicated. See what this playbook does, it gets the information, runs a particular query, it adds a comment to the incident, and then what it also does is it gets a report from virus total and upon that the report based on what is in the results it will either comment or close an incident see how complicated things can get but this does save us a whole lot of time if we just spend a little bit of time customizing the playbook well that could probably save us hours and hours and hours of work in future if you do have any questions, feel free to give us a comment or a like below. Until next time.